Close your eyes and imagine a world where the air doesn't just bite, it hunts. 20,000 years ago, during the height of the last glacial maximum, Northeast Asia wasn't just cold, it was a monochromatic hellscape. The winds screaming across the Siberian tundra were so fierce, they carried jagged crystals of ice that could shred exposed skin in minutes. For the ancestors of modern East Asians, this wasn't just a place to live, it was a biological battlefield. Every breath was a struggle, every movement was a gamble, but while most species fled or perished, one group of humans stayed. They didn't just survive, they adapted, they evolved. For decades, the world has looked at the monolid or the epicanthic fold through the shallow lens of aesthetics. We were told it was just a feature of a certain race, but science is finally peeling back the layers of this anthropological mystery to reveal a much more forbidden truth. Your eyes are not just a window to your soul. They are a high-tech piece of glacial engineering, a genetic shield forged in the absolute extreme of the Ice Age. This single fold of skin was the difference between vision and blindness, between life and a frozen grave. Today, we go beyond the surface. We're diving into the DNA secrets of the EDAR gene to discover how a single genetic glitch turned the human eye into a pair of biological goggles. This is the story of how the tundra shaped the face of billions. Welcome to Lost Origins. Today, we decode the 30,000-year-old secret of the Asian eye. Prepare to see the world through a completely different lens. The biology of the glacial goggles beyond the surface. To understand the monolid, we have to look past the skin. We have to look at the fat. In a standard Western eye, the upper eyelid has a distinct crease where the skin attaches to the underlying muscle. But in the East Asian eye, nature decided to add a layer of insulation. Science calls this the epicanthic fold, but in the freezing heart of the Ice Age, it was a biological thermal blanket. Scientists have discovered that individuals from Northeast Asia carry significantly more adipose tissue, fat, within their eyelids. This wasn't an accident of beauty, this was survival necessity. Imagine the freezing winds of ancient Siberia, where temperatures could drop to negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit. At those extremes, the moisture on your eyeball can literally begin to crystallize. By adding a thicker layer of fat and a folding shield of skin, evolution created a thermal seal. This fold protects the tear duct, the lacrimal gland, from freezing shut, ensuring the eye remains lubricated even when the world around it is turning to solid ice. But it didn't stop there. The fold also serves as a structural reinforcement. It narrows the eye's aperture, acting like the slit in a tank's armor. This allowed our ancestors to keep their eyes open during 100 mile per hour blizzards that would have blinded anyone else. It is a masterpiece of biological adaptation, turning the human face into a specialized tool for the Arctic. The Snow Blindness Strategy, Nature's Optical Physics If the wind didn't kill you, the light would. This is the anthropological mystery of the Arctic glare. Fresh snow has an albedo of nearly 90%, meaning it reflects almost all the ultraviolet radiation back into your eyes. For an Ice Age hunter, a single day of tracking a mammoth across the snow could lead to photokeratitis, permanent snow blindness. Evolution Solution? The original pinhole camera. By developing the monolid evolution, nature effectively lowered the f-stop of the human eye. The narrowed opening created by the epicanthic fold functions exactly like the bone goggles carved by the Inuit people millennia later. It limits the amount of light entering the pupil, sharpening the focus and protecting the retina from the photonic bombardment of the tundra. When you look at an East Asian eye, you are looking at the result of a 30,000-year battle against the sun. This is vision evolution at its most extreme. 
our ancestors didn't need to invent sunglasses, they grew them into their very DNA. The Genetic Engine, the EDAR 370 Masterpiece. Every revolution has an engine. For the Asian face, that engine is a single genetic glitch on the EDAR gene. About 35,000 years ago, a mutation known as 370 appeared in a small population in central China. It spread so fast that today nearly 90% of Han Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans carry it. But here is the truly forbidden secret. The EDAR gene didn't just change the eyes. It was a multi-tool mutation. Because of this one gene, the body underwent a total transformation to survive the last glacial maximum. It gave the population thicker hair shafts to trap heat against the scalp. It altered the shape of the teeth, the shovel-shaped incisors, to handle the tough, fibrous diet of the tundra. And, most surprisingly, it increased the number of sweat glands. Why more sweat glands in a cold climate? Because in the extreme cold, thermoregulation is life or death. If you overheat while hunting and your sweat freezes against your skin, you die. The EDAR mutation allowed for finer-tuned cooling, ensuring that the hunters of the north remained in peak physical condition. The monolid was just the most visible part of a massive biological upgrade. The Migration Echo the Ghosts of Beringia. The story of the Asian eye doesn't stay in Asia, it crossed the world. During a period known as the Beringian Standstill, a group of humans was trapped on a massive land bridge between Siberia and Alaska for nearly 10,000 years. Surrounded by walls of ice, they became the ultimate survivors. When the ice finally melted, they migrated south, becoming the first peoples of the Americas. This is why from the Navajo of the American Southwest to the Maya of Central America and the Quechua of the Andes, you see the epicanthic fold. It is the genetic ghost of the Ice Age. But wait, there's even a deeper DNA secret. You also find this fold in the Khoisan people of Southern Africa. They didn't live in the ice, so why do they have it? The answer is convergent evolution. The Khoisan lived in the harsh, blinding light and dust of the Kalahari Desert. Nature reached into the same toolbox and pulled out the same shield. Whether it's ice or sand, when the world tries to blind you, humanity evolves to fight back. The Tear Ducts Vault – The Invisible Defense There is an invisible benefit to the monolid that we're only just beginning to understand – hydration control. In the dry, desiccating air of the Arctic and the high-altitude steppes of Mongolia, moisture is a precious resource. A wide-open, western-style eye loses moisture through evaporation at a much higher rate. This can lead to corneal scarring and chronic infections. The epicanthic fold acts as a vault. It creates a pocket of high humidity directly over the surface of the eye. By shielding the tear duct and narrowing the exposed surface area, it ensures the eye remains moist and healthy even in the driest winds on Earth. It is a moisture reclamation system built into the face. For the ancient Siberia survivors, this wasn't about looking a certain way. It was about maintaining clear, pain-free vision in an environment that was trying to dry them out and turn them into dust. Every blink was a calculated act of survival. Today, the glaciers have retreated. We live in a world of climate control, high-definition screens, and artificial light. The brutal winds of the tundra are a distant memory. So why does the monolid persist? Why hasn't it disappeared now that the threat of the Ice Age is gone? Because evolution is a slow, beautiful archive. It doesn't throw away a masterpiece just because the weather changed. The monolid evolution remains a core part of the East Asian identity because it was so successful. It is a dominant trait that carries the strength of a thousand generations. But we're also seeing new chapters of human migration. As the world mixes, as DNA from the East and West recombines, we're seeing a new spectrum of eye shapes. 
These aren't losses of a trait. They are the next step in our mutation history. We are watching evolution happen in real time as we build a global civilization. So, what does your mirror really show you? It shows you a survivor. If you have the epicanthic fold, you are the descendant of the people who stood on the edge of the world, faced down the most brutal climate in human history and said, I will not blink. Your eyes are a trophy of the last glacial maximum. They're a testament to the power of the EDR gene and the incredible resilience of our species. From the frozen plains of Siberia to the modern skyscrapers of the 21st century, that fold of skin is a 30,000-year-old shield. Don't let anyone tell you it's just a look. It's a legacy. It's a map of human migration. It's a natural selection masterpiece. If you're ready to stop looking at the surface and start decoding the forbidden history of your own DNA, you're in the right place. Subscribe to Lost Origins. Join the crew, because the most incredible story ever told is written in the cells of your own body. We'll see you in the next investigation.